Prime Minister's office. Prime Minister speaking. Greetings. This is the Secretary of War at the State Department of the United States. We have a problem. The companies want something done about this sluggish world economic situation. Profits have been running more than a little thin lately, and we we need to stimulate some growth. Now, we know that there's an alarmingly high number of young people roaming around in your country with nothing to do but stir up trouble for the police and damage private property. Doesn't look like they'll ever get a job. It's about time we did something constructive with these people. We've got thousands of them here, too. They're crawling all over. The companies think it's time we all sit down, have a serious get-together, and start another war. The president, oh, he loves the idea. All those missiles streaming overhead to and fro, napalm, people running down the road, skin on fire. The Kremlin's been itching for the real thing for years. Want a little going away present? Afghanistan's no fun. So what do you say? We don't even have to win this war. We just want to cut down on some of this excess population. Now it's just Start up a draft, draft as many of those people as you can. We'll call up every last youngster we can get our hands on and give them an hour or two to learn how to use an automatic rifle and send them on their way. El Salvador, El Northern Ireland are a moderately oppressive regime in South America. Well, we'll just cook up a good Soviet threat story in the Middle East. We need that oil. We had Libya all ready to go, and Colonel Gaddafi's hit squad didn't even show up. I tell you, that man, unreliable. The Russians had their finger on the button just like we did for that one. Now just think for a minute. We can make this war so big, so big. The more people we kill in this war, the more the economy will prosper. We can get rid of practically everybody on your uh, dole queue if we plan this right. Take every loafer on welfare right off our computer roll. So don't worry about those demonstrators. Just pump up your drug supply. So many people have hooked themselves on heroin and amphetamine since we took over. Just like Vietnam, we had everybody so busy with LSD, they never got too strong. We kept the war functioning just fine. It's easy. We got our college kids so interested in beer, they don't even care if we start manufacturing germ bombs again. Or a nuclear stockpile in their backyard, they wouldn't even know what it looked like. So how about it? Look, war is money. The arms manufacturers tell me unless we get our bomb factories up to full production, the whole economy is going to collapse. We're in the same boat. We all agree the time has come to the big one. So what do you say? Oh, it's marvelous. That's excellent. We knew you'd agree. The companies will be very pleased. References to Donald Trump, China, and Putin, courtesy, Public Guy. But then DK recorded this in 1987, so I had modernized a little bit.